Welcome, everyone, to the automation course on Gen Farmer. For those who don't know, we have developed the first all-in-one automation disciple. Providing solutions for no coding automation, device change, and no root device backup. Especially, screen streaming technologies like Lyshi and Cellway are completely free for phone farms and emulators. For those familiar with Gen Login, we are pioneers in providing no-code automation solutions for browsers. After more than two years of development, over 100,000 people have used no-code automation on Gen Login. And automation for phones is much more complex compared to browsers. Even for those experienced with coding, it requires a lot of experience to execute successfully. However, with Gen Farmer, we have inherited and developed Gen Login technologies to provide tools for everyone. And you don't need to know how to code to create automation tools for any mobile app. Gen Farmer will be essential for those doing online business, like selling on Shopee or TikTok, needing tools to boost sales for your store or supper tea live streams when you have a phone farm. Applying Gen Farmer can be extensive across all use cases, such as mobile automation testing, or in social media marketing areas like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Additionally, in e-commerce areas like Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, Shopee, or any problem where you can't use a browser or are restricted by it, you can harness the power of phones through Gen Farmer. Compared to browsers, the security and bypass capabilities of phones are much superior. And in this video series, I'll guide you through using the no coding automation feature. Without knowing how to code, you can write tools for any app on a phone farm or box phone device. This is Gen Farmer's most powerful feature, allowing you to earn significant money. So let's get started. In this series, I will focus on automation. Writing automation processes for mobile applications. I'll go through the automation part first. For those using Gen Login, you're already familiar with the concept of my app. This app is a packaged end-to-end -end automation process and used to attach devices and then run. Create tasks and run. This run part will save the parameters of each run. Corresponding to the tasks created. Suppose I create a task here. After running, the results such as runtime and start time will be displayed here. However, there is a new point in the Gen Farmer app compared to Gen Login. That is this module. In this module, its automation nodes correspond to the app part, but there will be a few differences. For example, there won't be a start button to begin, but instead, it will use a contact menu. You can add contact menus here accordingly. Each contact menu can be a flow, depending on your process. Suppose with the same devices, you want to create a login flow, an alike flow, and different comment flows, for example. You don't want to create many apps. It's very difficult to manage. You can write them together in one module and run each flow one by one, each corresponding to a start node, a round start node, then go here to edit. The contact menus. Suppose here, I set it as login. Then link this login to the nodes with the login function. Then it will run here. It will follow a login flow. The lower flow will depend on how you set it. That's a brief overview of the module. This module differs from my app in another aspect. It will use in conjunction with the account manager. For those who used Gen Login previously, you managed your accounts such as Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts using Excel files. For those unfamiliar, it would be very difficult to use initially because it involved JavaScript coding. With Gen Farmer, you can directly add accounts passwords into the app and manage them in the account manager section. You will add your accounts in this format. Similar to columns in an Excel file, you will add them here and directly into the app to use in conjunction with the module. For this part, I'll probably have a separate video to talk about using the module with the account manager to manage accounts on Gen Login. In this video, I'll mainly focus on the automation nodes. Now, let's dive into each part of the automation nodes. Okay, let's start with the nodes, from basic to more advanced.
First, to open the phone to monitor and write automation. Go to the device view section. It will display the devices accessing the device are on Gen Farmer. Here I have a device, select it. It will display on the stream control screen, where I can interact with it to get elements. Then write the automation process. Moving into the nodes, the first part is the navigation node. Usually the basic navigation nodes below. This phone doesn't have navigation nodes, which include press back to go back, press home to go to the home screen, press menu for multitasking. Although I've selected the device view, To test the app, I need to select the device here. Test the press menu. It will be press multitasking. This is the home node, press back node, and back to the main screen. The navigation part is basic, nothing complicated. You can select quickly, select multiple nodes, and delete. Hold the shift key and drag the left mouse button to select three of these, then move, or delete, duplicate them. That's how to select quickly. Next are the system nodes. Okay, now we'll move to the system nodes. These nodes are used to adjust phone settings. First will be startup. The app nodes include start, stop, install, uninstall, is install app. These relate to applications on. Is install is to check if it's installed on that device. First is startup. To start, we need its package name. You can get it by going to websites where you download APKs, such as APK Pure. Or APK Combo. I'll go to APK Combo. To download the app, here's the Facebook app. Here's its APK file. The slash com is the package name of the Facebook app. Just paste it here, then press start. Provided your phone already has the Facebook app installed. It has opened the app by package name. The stop node is similar. Just paste the package name and run, it will close the app. Install app is to install, based on the APK file. You need to download it to the computer device you're managing with the Gen Farmer app. You can go online to download the APK file, such as the APK Combo website, APK Pure, your choice. I'll choose the latest version for Android 11 and above. Download the APK. Wait a moment. Okay, it's downloaded. Then go to the app, use the blue button to select the file you downloaded. Here, this APK file, its format must be APK format. This download is the Facebook APK file. Combo. Then select Install. and wait for it to install. It seems my phone already has that app, so it won't install again. I'll just briefly explain. For apps not installed on your phone, use this method to attach the APK file and install, the uninstall is similar. Just attach the package name. Like stop, it will uninstall the app with that package name. Such as contact Facebook, like install. It's similar to the element exist node in GenLogin, checking if the app is installed. Attach the package name.
When the app is installed on your device, it will show success, indicated by a green line. If the app is not installed, it will show a red line. This for managing your applications, no problem. But when writing scripts to share or sell, instead of noting they must install the app, you can use this node to check if the app is installed. If not, connect the red line to the install app node. Suppose your phone doesn't have Facebook. It will follow the red line to install the app. After installing, connect it to normal operations. If the app is installed, it will follow the green line for normal operations. This saves time for those with many devices or using others' mini apps to check if the app is installed. The next three nodes in the system section. I'll go through each one. First is transfer file. This is simply to transfer files between computer and phone or vice versa. There are two options, push or pull. You can push files from computer to phone or pull files from phone to computer. For push file, first select the input file. Choose the file to transfer from computer to phone. Here's a path. For the output path, choose the directory path on your phone. Currently, my app is in beta so not fully In the commercial optimized. version, we'll add an option here your to phone quickly select without path. manually searching. That's for the we'll transfer file this for users. Pull file is similar. Pull the path from the phone, then transfer to a folder on the computer. To the transfer file node, Next is device action. These are actions on the device. Including shake, lock, unlock. Shake is to shake the phone. Some apps require shaking. To complete tasks, some games need shaking to get rewards. Shake feature helps with this. Lock is simply. To lock the screen, unlock is to unlock Nothing the more. screen. Next is Toggle. This controls the buttons on the Quick Settings panel. Let me open my phone for you. Here's my phone. Toggle includes Airplane Mode, Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, and Location. Airplane Mode simply toggles these settings in Quick Settings. To turn off Wi-Fi, then it will click the Wi-Fi button for me. After clicking, Wi-Fi turns off and displays. 3G, 4G. I'll use this. Now I'll turn off 3G system. 4G. In the next video, I'll discuss actions on the device screen. See you in the next video.